Hello everyone. Welcome to our studio today. I'm so glad you joined us and hope you got your paint out and painting with us. Uh, today I think we'll do a little scene. Uh, Ruthie mentioned something about flowers and uh, Jim mentioned something patriotic. I'm not sure how to tie all that together, but uh, we'll just start painting and hope it ends up somewhere in the middle there, okay? I'm not sure what we're going to do today. Don't even know where to start today. And I've got a lot of linseed oil on this canvas, maybe way too much. So let's just put a little paint on there and see what happens. And I just see that yellow stands out so much, so I'm going to just dab a little in there. Now, you can tell if you got too much yellow, I mean too much yellow, too much linseed oil on it. It'll start running down the page. I'm going to keep painting for a little while. I may have to wipe it a little bit in a minute, but... Let's just keep going. You want to? I'm going to rinse that brush out a little bit. Uh oh, I got into some red. I didn't mean to do that just yet. Matter of fact, I'm going to throw that over there. Okay. Now I just run a little white streak across there and I'm losing all kinds of hairs in this brush. Now I'm going to add a little alizarin crimson. We're going to let that set for a minute. And I'm going to rest my brush again. All right, now I can use that light blue, but I believe I want some dark blue in there. Wow! I'm just scrubbing it. I don't know how to get rid of all those hairs. Well, we got patriotic colors, except the yellow, we got <laughs> blue, red, and white. Clean that old brush out. I'm hoping to quit losing all those hires. I'm not sure though. I'm going to grab another one. Hang on just a second. I want one with a little more body to it. Okay. First of all, let me grab my big three inch brush. I'm going to try to get some of these hires out, and I'm going to blend it a little bit. And I'm going to blend this crimson right up into the blue. I'm trying not to go down into the yellow. I don't want any green in my sky.
Okay, now I'm gonna I'm gonna rinse that out a little bit. I'm gonna drop it right over there. Now I'm gonna put some mountains in here, but a different kind of mountain. Uh, but first of all, I'm gonna grab a a little cloth. I've I've got way too much. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's already streaking on me. So I'm gonna wipe a little bit of that off. Just for the heck of it. I'm gonna re-blend that in a few minutes. I'm gonna throw that right over there. I'm gonna get a dry brush. Uh, that size will be fine. I'm gonna blend it a little bit more. Okay, I'm going to grab a little of this light blue here with the same brush. That's looking a little better. Put a little more of that over here. What I'm trying to do is have those colors sort of blend together. But I want them a little, a little redder. blend that a little bit now. Probably could use that brush, but being it's got thinner in it, I don't want to use that brush. So I'm gonna get a dry one. I want that red to come right up into the sky. Sort of like that. And down below here, I want my yellow. Let me just lay that brush down. I'm not going to use it. So I'm going to put a little, a little bit more yellow on it. A little bit more. Now I can leave it that way. Matter of fact, I probably will for a little while. Now we're going to take a one inch brush. I'm going to put some mountains in here. These are going to be uh, background mountains. So we mix it right over here. And I want a little, a little more white in that. I want a little bit of lizard crimson in it. A little more white. Let's just put a, a few little mountains in there. 
Now this will probably turn green up into the Where's the sun at? I haven't decided. This side? Now, the way you can put some little trees in your background, you just take the tip of the brush, Pull it up a little bit. And of course the bottom will blend out a little bit. Let's put a little bit more right in there. Now those are sort of faded out in the background. Now we're going to rinse it out. Now you can put a lot of detail with a palette knife or with a brush. I'm going to take a little brush and add just a little bit of detail there. I'm taking a little Payne's gray. That's a little darker than what I want. So I'm gonna tone it just a little bit. That's about exactly what I want. I want a little separation there. I'm going to blend that out a little bit. Let me clean that brush out. Got a whole bunch of brushes out here. Wow. I'm going to put some clouds up in here. I think big, big fluffy clouds. Let's, let's try a couple. I'm not sure that... I'm going to grab a little of that white.
Okay, good enough. Okay. Now down in here, I'm gonna put some little uh, darker trees, and I'm gonna start. Uh, I, I may put great big old trees up through here. I'm not not really sure what I'll do there, but more than likely. But I don't want it to be an autumn scene, so I don't want too much. And but I want I want some bigger trees in here, so let's do that right now. Mix up a little color for that. I like the darker colors and green, and I like the blue. So let's see what that will do. That probably will do all right. Let's try a little, a whole bunch of four. Let's put some, uh, actually, let me grab a, a, a fan brush or two. This is gonna be a little bit smaller trees. And all of this will probably be filled in, at least most of it. I think I'll put a little more detail in those trees. Put a little more color on that. Actually, I'm just taking the little brush and hitting right in the middle of it to spread these little trees out a little bit. Actually, I was just trying to fill in now. But we won't worry too much about filling in. Because we've got a long way to go yet. Now I'm going to, actually I want to highlight just a little bit on those trees. So I'm going to get a little lighter color here. And I just picked up a little light blue. And we set our highlights on that side. And 
needs to be just a touch lighter. Don't want to get that too dirty, so let me grab a little bit of yellow. A little bit. I don't know if you can see that detail or not. Hope you can. Just a little bit. Now in the summertime you'll see green trees, but actually there's so many different colored green trees. Okay, clean that brush out. We're going to plant some big trees in this one eventually, I think. Right now I'm going to add some of the same trees, and later on we'll go back and add bigger trees. Anyhow, let's do that. Bigger trees. I'm going to make a, another color, and I like that color. It's really great. But I want it darker. Let's see if that is dark enough. I'm not sure. I'm just going to pick it up right on the end of the... And let's start right... Well, let's start all the way over, don't you? You don't need to go all the way down. Sometimes I do that, but you don't have to. A little more color. Let's put one more in there. Need that a little darker there. Darker, darker at the bottom. Good enough. Let's go to this side and add a few of those. We've got time, I think.
just one more. I don't know, we might make a little pond, or should I let it curve on around? We don't know. We'll decide later. Okay, now what you can do real quickly, if you want to, take your palette knife, and you can add a little bit of uh, The trunks to these trees. Or you can actually take a little uh, color and do that. We'll come back and add more later, probably. This we got about a minute left. All right, I like that so far. Back here in the background, I'm gonna rest my brush up real quick. I'm not sure how we'll do that. Maybe that way. This is just to give an idea of what it will be. We're gonna have to leave you. I may come on down that way, I'm not sure. We'll try that later. Hey, I've enjoyed being with you so much today. We're doing a fun painting. Come back next week and be with us, and we'll try to work some more on it. Thanks for watching, and goodbye, and God bless.